Hi, y'all, and welcome to my new channel, Mammy Murray's Musings. Uh, I chose that because my grandbabies call me Mammy. And my husband had tried for the last few years to, uh, or probably two or three years, to get me to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I think maybe because he used to get aggravated me because I would watch these uh, cooking shows and I would talk to him saying, oh, yeah, I do it just like that, or... No, I don't do it like that, or I do it this way. Or because sometimes even just watching television in general, I always have talked to it. Uh, we were watching a scary movie. I would maybe, you know, say, watch out, someone's behind the door or something. And sometimes he would laugh at me, and then sometimes I think he'd get aggravated because he'd just say, oh, you know, uh, be quiet for a minute, you know, hush, I'm trying to enjoy this. And... Uh, he, uh, the last uh, few years he was on Dallas, in the last couple of years we did it at home, so I really didn't have time to do a, a YouTube channel. Uh, he went home to be with our Savior back in, De I'm sorry, December, this is December. He went home to be with our Savior back in June, and so now I have a little bit of extra time on my hands, so I thought I would start this. I'm going to do some cooking videos. Uh, I may be, um, I'm planning on reading some books, you know, uh, some children's books. Uh, I may be even, maybe we'll even read a book that's geared for older children and, you know, adults. Um, so I hope you'll join me on this journey. And I thought since it's Christmas time, I would make something that I have been making probably for about 30 years. And that is microwave peanut brittle. Uh, I'm getting over bronchitis, so you will have to excuse my voice. Uh, so, I'm going to, when I spread it out, I'm going to do it right here on my stove because I'll be cooking my microwave before, um, above there. Since I have a glass top stove, I put a dish towel down there and I'm putting my cookie sheet on top. So, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do is spray my... Uh, cup that I will have my corn syrup in with some cooking spray so it will come out easier and also I'm going to spray my, my spatula just a little bit. Okay, first thing we're going to need in here is some sugar. So we're going to need one cup of sugar. No, no, I'm sorry. That's probably loud on you there, isn't it? <clears throat> and let me turn you down so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. So we're going to put in one cup of sugar. And just take your cup, and if you see any lumps, just kind of push them out. Next, we want a half a cup of corn syrup. And use the light corn syrup. All right. We'll pour that in here. And use a microwave safe bowl. Uh, this is one of those real nice ones from Pampered Chef. And I use this, uh, I think this one's a two quart one. And that's probably a good size to use. And just kind of chop that up a little bit, you know, not kind of poke it. You don't have to really stir, stir it, but just poke it to get it just a little bit stirred. And the trick is to use two spatulas so you can scrape off of each other to get everything off. All right, put this in the microwave. Now, I'm going to do it at three minutes. Every microwave is different. Um, my old microwave I had before, it would start with four minutes. But this one, um, I found it works best with uh, three minutes. You will just have to just do trial and error uh, to see how it works best for you. All right, while that's uh, doing, we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, cooking. What we're gonna go ahead and get our peanuts ready. And we are going to need one cup of peanuts. 
I am sitting here rubbing against my stove with my big belly and my dish towels are just kind of like falling off of it. Our peanuts we cut. Um, let me fix these back. These are some Christmas time ones I uh, got a few years ago. I really like one says, Have yourself a Merry Christmas. Another one says, It's the most wonderful time of the year. We have about a minute and 40 seconds left on this. So, where are all of you from, and are you making a lot of goodies for Christmas? And are you ready for Christmas? We, uh, my children and I, we already celebrated. We alternate years, so this year it was uh, at Thanksgiving time. So, we already did that. Um, I will be spending Christmas Day with my oldest daughter. Okay, we have about a minute left. Let me go ahead and pause you and I'll bring you back when this is ready. Okay, just have a few seconds left. So I brought you back. Let me get you back down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, three minutes are up. Take it out of the microwave and stir it real good. that sugar all incorporated. Then we will put in our cup of peanuts. I actually like to stir better with this smaller spatula. And stir that up. And again, we will scrape it all off. Back in the microwave for two minutes. And you know, you may have to go four and three. Mine is just three, two, and then another two. Now, the next thing that we will do is uh, we will put, and I'm still trying to figure this thing out, so it's probably going to take me a while. The next thing we'll do is put some vanilla flavoring, one teaspoon, which, you know, is basically if you have a smaller bottles it's about a cap full and uh, a teaspoon of butter so let's see where I put my teaspoon at okay my butter's I want to stick to the roof of that. Bring it back out here on its slab. All right. And then, you know, keep your butter out on the counter. It can stay out unless your house is really hot. It can stay out for about a month. Uh, and just kind of keep it soft. And I'm just like scraping the top of it here. Now, if I was using my butter for toast, I don't like scrape. I like nice little pats. Don't ask me why I'm just OCD that way. Get you a nice uh, little teaspoon there. All right. Make sure your hands are clean. Always wash your hands before you start cooking and wash them several times while you're cooking. I've seen people reach up and uh, pick their nose, put their fingers in their mouth, scratch their head, and never even stop and wash their hands. And it's like, please, please wash those hands. Okay, that um, two minutes is up, so just plop this out with your finger, your butter there. Then um, add your vanilla. And stir it again. 
And you hear the sizzling of that vanilla, the alcohol in it hitting the heat. All right, then scrape again. I tell you what, this is so much easier and faster than just standing at the stove and uh, stirring it for a long time. And I tell you what, the too, it is so good. It's not like super hard like what you get in this store. So if you don't have real good teeth or you have dentures, they're not as apt to uh, hurt your teeth on it. Two minutes again. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, pan here ready. And whenever you use, uh, take butter out of your butter wrapper, save the wrappers. So all you have to do is scrape them around it and that will butter your pan. And when you're finished, all you have to do is throw it away. No sense in wasting uh, that butter on there that you can't get all of it off, is it? And I'll just take my hand, just make sure it's all coated there real good. There we go. Okay, let me put this cup over here in the sink. I like to keep soapy water up so as I empty uh, dishes, I can, uh, you know, put them in there and then that makes it easier to clean up when they soak in there. Uh, lots of times when I'm making peanut brittle, I will make five or six batches at a time. I'll do one batch, then another, then another. And since I like to use the same uh, bowl over and over. I have to kind of like wait in between because I have to run some hot water in that bowl and let it sit a little bit to uh, dissolve all that sugar in there. And while that's still going, I'm going to get to get, uh, get um, a teaspoon of baking soda is what we want next. Because on the next step, we are going to have to work a little bit faster. Okay, have my bacon soda there. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn you down so you can see what I'm doing because we only have a few seconds left here. All right, so let's put our bacon soda in. And that's baking soda, one teaspoon, not baking powder. Then we stir it. You want to get that incorporated really, really good. Make sure you don't see any of the white by itself. And you will see that it's foaming up here. Okay, once that is stirred in real good, we're going to pour it out on our cookie sheet here. switch to this little bit of a stiffer, bigger one to get this last little bit out. Okay. Then just kind of, you don't want to spread it out too far. Okay, just kind of go just a little bit. Just kind of do it gentle and just kind of pat it out a little. Because you're going to want some of that, uh, Foaminess and those air pockets in there. Let me run this over here to the sink. Put some water in it. That won't fit down in my dish pan. All right, now I'm going to let this cool. And when it cools, I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, somehow I forgot to push the, or I didn't push it hard enough, the record button. And I was breaking this peanut brittle up the whole time. But I'll show you again. Uh, when it comes, you know, of course, it's one big piece. And if you have strong hands, you can pick it up and break it. If not, I just take a case knife and just kind of pop it, okay? And break it up in however small pieces that you want. Um, here's the small one. You can see the nice little air pockets in there. Mmm, 
That is so good. Well, I'm glad you joined me today. And if you, um, you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, just subscribe down below and like it. And if you want, you're even welcome, you know, to share it. I look forward to cooking more with you, uh, doing other activities. Uh, remember to always season your cooking with love. Cook for the ones that you love. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.